Uh, excuse me. Let 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 her come. Let her come in. Let her come in. So you feel that it's going to be really fair and uh, well. The voters have done their work. What is remaining for the IEBC to give us the true state of the voters? How was the process? How have you viewed it? It is quick. Though there are many candidates, particularly at uh, ward level, but the process is quick and uh, we finish it within no time. Okay. Yeah. So, how, are, uh, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Excited and hopeful. Esther, you have heard of the election? Iko sawa nimekuja kushindikiza mama first lady na baba lakini pale nimetoka uh, mimi mwenyewe sijapiga kura kwa sababu Kim Skit haikufanya kazi na mpaka sasa hii hawajaleta replacement na hawataki kutumia manual register so hapo kuna shida IBC pale Kim Skit hazifanyi kazi mupeane manual register alafu watu kama hawajapiga kura mpaka sasa hii wata extend your time kwa sababu watu wako kwa, wako kwa kiu. mama amepiga na tumefurahi lakini supporters wetu wengi hawajapiga kwa sababu Kim Skit zimefail na mnafikiri kutokana na matatizo hayo kutakuwa na shaka katika matokeo na uchaguzi maana kitafungwa saa 11. Sisi tuko, tunajua watu wetu watajitokeza kwa wengi so hata kama watakosa kosa hapa tutashinda bado. How rampant are these cases probably? Yeah, I've got calls for many calls for many, many of names that are misplaced. Mm. A guy is talking about he was supposed to vote in Nairobi in Uruma and his name is in Suna West. Suna West is in Migori County. Mm. How is he going to get there at this time? Mm. So, I don't know how they get this problem. That's going to put a dent on the outcome of the election. Let's give them time to look. time to, to see how they're going to be, but let's not predict that is not. If there's mistakes, let them correct those mistakes. There's still time. Five o'clock is a long time from now. How confident are you in the in the fairness and freeness of the election? How confident are you in the fairness and freeness of this election? Well, we just hope for the best. Hope for the rubbish that they've done before. Thank you. Thank you. Raila's security must really have quite the job of uh, keeping uh, his jeshi, I think he's called them his jeshi vijana fire, um, in control. But they have accompanied his vehicle all the way when he came in into Kibra on his way to Gwen Caster's ballot. And it appears that there is no let up. They're determined to be, you know, when you see those security guys running alongside uh, VIP vehicles, they're determined to be his security detail uh, for the duration of this voting process. Yeah, the pictures you're seeing there is Raila Odinga earlier on and together with his wife, Aida Odinga, leaving polling station number 10. That's at Kibera, Old Kibera Primary School. Uh, they didn't, uh, well, Raila didn't address uh, the media, didn't make any statements, but we saw some issues that Aida was raising uh, together with um, uh, Esther, Esther Pasari is talking about. But my question is this, where would Raila have spoken? Did you see that crash? It was a literal crash. Crush. And I suppose that is why uh, he heard his say before he left his home, his residence in Karen. Yes, yes it is. But still, the issue of the Kim's kids uh, keeps arising. I mean, we are still in the early hours of voting. And uh, we are likely to see this pan out across the day. I recall before Smartmatic was contracted, the inventory in IBC at the time, they were talking about having 
45,000 working in good condition chem kits and there's only an addition of I think 14,100 and in all those chem kits that were being sent to all these uh, different polling stations I think they were in good working condition but then there's also the issue of um, some of them are not working just to bring our view, uh, viewers up to speed with the chem kits and what you're talking about here it is that device that is loaded with the electronic voter identification and results transmission system softwares. It has SIM cards and um, SIM cards of um, network operators as well as SD cards that contain registered voters biographic and biometric data for each polling station. So the difficulties that we've been seeing in, uh, for example, Gadi Gashagwa took some moments rubbing his hands to get his fingerprints right. We haven't seen that with Raylo Dinga. His was smooth. It took him nine, nine minutes, uh, Samuel. All right, so uh, just get, what, what are your final words to Kenyans as uh, they head out to vote or when they're already on the queue waiting to vote or just having um, voted? Uh, Amama Aido Dinga said it's still a long way uh, to 5 p.m. Sam. I think um, the process has started. Uh, we would want to wish every Kenyan who has uh, you know, the right to vote votes. Um, of course, it is interesting to see a very huge crowd of young men <laughs> and women following the, the former prime minister. You know, my worry is whether really they have voted or whether they are really registered voters. Um, and of course, that, that complicates the equation if they are not. Uh, so we wish each person votes. Uh, we would want everybody to keep the peace uh, today. And then uh, we'll see the outcome and we'll talk about the outcomes as they come and uh, tell Kenyans, you know, the realities of the matter. All right, Caroline? Uh, my final word is um, for those who can vote, for those who've chosen to vote, let's go out there and vote. I myself am going to my voting, to my, to my polling station immediately after this. And it is my wish that everybody who wants to vote, who is willing to vote, gets to vote. And people don't get tired on the queues if the queues are long and if the, the, the Kim's kids are taking too long. It is my wish that everybody votes and we vote peacefully. And then at the end of the day, we will come back and see what were the hits and what were the misses. All right, your last word, Prof? Yeah, I would, I would beseech everyone.